Hello, I'm Alexandria Adams with Mox News. 32 UTC students are heading to Washington, D.C. this upcoming weekend for the presidential inauguration. I spoke with some of the lucky few who are attending this historical event. Well, we hosted a election night watch party in the Multicultural Center in combination with about six other organizations. Um, we had the Women's Center, NAACP, um, I hate to leave out anybody, but that was in November. So it was a lot of other organizations. Um, in, NPHC was also involved, and there were 300 plus students that came here. And so everybody was all excited, like people weren't leaving, and we ran out of food twice. <laughs> and so um, I was just like, why don't we just go to the inauguration? Like, it's obvious that the students are invested in this election, so let's take it, you know, to the next level. Well, when I got the email, I was just like, oh my goodness, that's a big deal. And I was like, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for me anyway, because I don't have that kind of money. So when I saw it, I, was, I jumped on it, you know, as soon as I could and filled out the application. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even, like, to be in the same, I was telling my sister, to be in the same, like, atmosphere as the President of the United States on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C., I mean, like, just, I think it's, it's going to be surreal. It's going to be like a, like a moment, like once in a lifetime. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Um, as a political science student and a member of Women's Action Council, I believe this trip would just benefit me in so many ways. Um, it was the first election I got to vote in, and I voted for Obama, of course. And I just think being there and seeing the excitement of everybody there will just be something that sticks with me for the rest of my life. We are driving 10 hours there and then not even stopping at the hotel to take a nap. And then we are just going through DC and then we are up at like two in the morning the next day. So we're gonna all be sleep deprived. We're all going to be excited. I think it's gonna be like hysteria of like tears and excitement and craziness. Hello, I'm Teddy Jones with Mox News. The UC Game Room is getting an air hockey table along with new ping pong paddles. The air hockey table was supposed to be here late last semester, but student body projects chair Sam Nino says that there were some minor timing complications. We passed the bill for the air hockey table at the end of last semester, and so with finals and everything just colliding together, there wasn't enough time just to order it. And so I talked with uh, the game room manager, night manager, Maurice, and um, we just decided if we could get it in by the end of the semester, we should do it, but things worked out better for it just to come at the beginning of this semester. Nino says that the order for the air hockey table and ping pong paddles will be placed later this week. He hopes that these additions will be available for the students in the beginning of February. He also said that there are no other additions currently planned for the game room. However, Nino said that if you have any requests for the game room to contact the Student Body Projects Committee. I'm Bria Craig with Mox News and UTC is collecting clothing in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. UTC and Chattanooga Rescue Mission are collecting hats, gloves, socks, and any warm clothing to go to the homeless. This service is in recognition of a national day to honor the memory of Darn Martin Luther King Jr. You can drop off items in room 322 of the UC until January 18th. Many students find it hard to find that passion or drive that will take them through all four years of college. But some can do it. I met with one student who changed his perspective and fell in love with art. I'm Tia Coleman, and this is Mox News. And one of the things they implement enough, more than enough here, is to never stop working. That's my most important thing I have to remember. So no matter what I do, um, my hopes is to never stop working. Antonio Snipes is a senior art student here at UTC. Snipes came to UTC with little experience in art. It wasn't until he took an art class and the professor changed his outlook and pulled him into art. I came here for physical therapy at UTC and I ran into a friend, his name was Donovan, and he was an art student. And he kind of pushed me to pick up a pencil and start drawing, because that's what he loved doing. So I actually picked up a pencil and I started drawing. I was in chemistry at the time. And I was actually pretty, I loved it. I was pretty good at it. Um, and then I came here to speak with some of the professors and teachers, and I ran into Ruth, who was the person who's over putting the things in the gallery and the shows. And she looked at it and she said, uh, so what are you waiting on? When are you gonna change your major? He has his experience in drawing, painting, and other art forms, but he works mainly with oil paintings. Snipes has two pieces of artwork featured in the Crest Gallery. Both pieces of work are oil paintings. It may take me maybe two and a half weeks to complete it. 
just for the sake of it takes oil a while to dry so when I apply a layer on I maybe go to another painting and I work on several at one time in the future, Snipes has a dream to open his own art gallery. His dreams are far and wide, but he is willing to take the extra steps to accomplish them. I would first like to get out there and get my work featured in many galleries, just to see how it worked. work. Um, I wanted to experience the relationship between uh, curator to artist, artist to curator, um, just to get in. Um, I'm just one of those people It has to be a hand on, hands-on experience. And once I get that, I would love to turn that experience into my own and give another artist an opportunity. I'm Emily Kulik with Mox News. The future can be a scary thing for students, but thanks to Nancy Badger, she has given us some insight on some career planning and is able to counsel students in need. My name is Nancy Badger, and I am the Assistant Vice Chancellor for Student Services. Um, which means that I supervise the areas of counseling, career and student employment, um, disability services. Um, I'm the liaison for the health services at Erlanger and I supervise the Women's Center. I have a master's in student personnel administration um, from Ball State in Indiana and I worked at Purdue University in their Dean of Students office for a little while and then I went and got my doctorate in counseling psychology and I worked as a psychologist for eight years at East Carolina University and then I came here to UTC to be the director of counseling and that was in 2004. Um, we mostly provide individual counseling. Um, it can be for a variety of different issues. It can be um, career counseling if you don't know what you want your major to be. Um, it can be um, academic counseling if you're just doing poorly in your classes or not as well as you would like to, we can do time management or stress management with you. Um, also, we do counseling on personal issues like um, problems with relationships, problems with your roommates, um, maybe uh, family issues that are happening at home, or just general depression, anxiety, um, issues like that. And we do also work with students who have more serious mental health concerns like um, bipolar disorder or um, things along that line. You don't need an appointment to come in the first time. You just come in during our walk-in hours, which are from 9 to noon every business day and from 1 to 3 every business day. So you would just come in and um, you would, you know, it's first come first serve, so you just come in and meet with a counselor for about 15 minutes and then um, your appointments, your um, counseling sessions would be by appointment from that point forward. Each counselor has a little bit different expertise. Um, we're all generalists in that we can all work with um, any kinds of issues, but we each have a little bit of a different orientation as far as how we do our work. So when you come and meet with a counselor, we would ask you just two or three questions just to find out who the best person might be to work with you. Just call the Counseling and Personal Development Center at 425-4438 or go to our website and email us from our website. And our website is www.utc.edu counseling.